everybody. Welcome to hello, hello. Rip Pops React. You're me, BP1 and BP2. Yes, In the host. you regular viewers, you'll notice that we've changed from a white background to a blue one. And we've got this new bungle back at the bottom with numerous information on it as we go through. So Ooh. all good. Um, today's <laughs> is Jane's Addiction again. So a second yeah. time watching Jane's Addiction uh, with Jane Says um, on Guitar Center Session. Right. Okay. So, I love Guitar Center uh, and yeah. their sessions. They get some great artists on there. Uh, and again, we're doing this one because our good friend, uh, Jack Car 84 uh, who recently popped along to our Sunday Live show and won himself some merch, uh, indeed, which I've posted out today. So it's on its way, mate. Uh, he requested the last Jane's Addiction one. Uh, we were quite impressed with that because, uh, yes. A, it sounded very U2-ish. So this is a Guitar Session one. Um, let's see how this one goes, mate. Yeah, it'll be interesting. 13. We did like them, yeah. Uh, yes, so, yeah. uh, Jane's Addiction, American rock band from Los Angeles, formed in 1985. Um, they was one of the first bands from the early 1990s alternative rock movement to gain both mainstream media attention and commercial success. It says here, in 1997, the band reunited with Flea, of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, replacing Avery on bass guitar for a one-off tour. All right. Ooh, okay, fair play. Uh, we'll stick around. We always score here at Britpop's React. Um, He's been busy. So, well, <laughs> double banging. Ooh, double banging. Uh, All right, on, mate. Let's get into it. Let's get Yay. into it. Yay. Oh, nice little acoustic, uh, acoustic setup. One day, isn't it? reaction for you then very not not you too like we saw before another no. guitar in um I, I i i very much like it and like i say now we've gone to sort of um steel drums so you got that sort of you know um yeah. steel drum sound in there let's say that initial vibe was kind of reminding me of the old happy mondays you know twisting the melon man um yeah and his elbows there in the way but that looks like duff mckagan from guns and roses i may be wrong but um mm. I like it. I like it so far. Yeah, no, it's good. I mean, it uh, reminds me of a bit. Um, his voice reminds me a little bit of the delays. If you right, I knew you'd find somebody that I because there's somebody. There's a lot of people mm. in there that you know, your Kasabians and that that they're. Look them up, Jap Car. The delays. The um, delays. Okay. Yeah, they were sort of like a an early two thousand sort of band. Didn't really take off very far, uh, but uh, pretty good. You know, lead singer and that. Um, 
Yeah, mate, it's cool. Yeah, it's all right. It's a nice. I like the like guitar the set. sessions. I like yeah. the set. What Look at set that. that is, hey, isn't just it? pick one of them. Oh, you'd have fun in there, wouldn't you? Hey. Yes, kid oh, in the candy store. Uh, yeah, but I, I'm I'm liking it, and like I say, the acoustic style setup is always a good one. Anyway, that soon sorts them out, doesn't it? If they if they can't deliver, you got nowhere to hide. No, you haven't. No, no. I would be hiding many a times. I'm sure. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's go. Have you seen my wig around? Beep, 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 but you're naked without it. Morris, she knows. I don't want to go home. That's okay, man, because she don't like the money way. She says I'm going to wait to Spain. And I get my money safe. Going to start tomorrow. Still pans. I would. Well, I it's I would. funny, isn't it? That's funny because that I was going. Well, you might like yeah. it. Well, no, I was going to say, you know, it's one of those instruments that, unless it's kind of in that that kind of musical genre, I, I wrote down here, you know, was this on the original song that they used steel pan drum, or did they just use it for this sort of guitar session because it's very portable? But again, it, it's a uh, it's an acquired taste, isn't it? Like I say, when you when it's in that sort of upbeat. Um, tim pan st um, steel drum style and you know yeah it's one thing but in this i'm not quite sure myself to be fair when they're all, when there's loads of them together yeah and they're all that's that's, it. That, that works yeah they're actually part of a song i'm not sure mate it just makes me feel a little bit like you know when it stops I, i'm back into it you know but i mean it's it's good i'd probably wrap it up about now so i don't know how you know if there's some sort of acoustic solo coming in here right. or some sort of vocal breakdown, I don't know. I reckon it'll be a uh, steel drum solo, mate, just oh, for you. Oh, imagine it. Uh, smash it nicely. <laughs> I don't know what it is. All he knows is someone wants her. He knows it's
Okay, mate. Yeah, on a different side to Jane's addiction. It was. Um, yes. I did have a quick shafty. That was Duff McKagan, uh, the uh, blonde uh, haired guitarist. It was. So, fair play. Uh, fair play. Um, he had spot. a tough. He had a tough life, mate. I, I watched his uh, solo tour where he spoke about his ooh, time in Guns N' Roses. Uh, and then Dave Navarro with the hat on playing the other guitar. Um, he's a um, a judge on a TV show called Ink Masters, all about tattooing and that. So. Oh yeah, okay. Fair play. Fair play. Yeah. Well, I thought it was good. I mean, uh, like I say, wasn't too sure on the steel nice pan. Chilled. Interesting lead singer. Uh, uh, Perry but, Farrell. Yeah, yeah, good, good voice. And, yeah, uh, gives it a little bit of swag, doesn't he? Yeah, a bit there. of a charismatic front man, which is what you need, uh, isn't it? You know, oh, helps yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely got to have that. So uh, yeah, it was good. But, uh, shave a minute off or so. But yeah, I mean, yeah, the baby bab babs didn't really need all of them. Yeah, but uh, so, obviously, it, it just, it just Dan said or... Dan really didn't say a lot, did she? No, it was either that or the uh, steel drum solo, mate. So, wow, we'll take that. We'll take the middle of the band. All right, where are we going with this bad boy? Um, That's a good call. Uh, where are we going to go? Well, we're not going to give it banging, mm. uh, but I will give it a 7.8. Yes. 7.8? Yeah, I'm going to come so. in at yeah. uh, I'm going to come in at an 8, uh, just to for the fact of seeing uh, Duff McKagan on there playing uh, playing play. guitar and not bass. Well, there you go. Uh, we'll give that 7.9 up there. 7.9 up there. Cheers, Jack Cop. Yeah, Much opens our, our heads mm. to seeing the different side of, you know, what Jane's Addiction is a bit of about. And that was yep. more of a sort of a chilled mm. scooby doo wop bab 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 boo boo one, one of them. One of, one those. of them ones. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Slight transition from the U2 vibe that we had before, which was full on electric, you know. But I like that nice setting as well. The old uh, guitar ses- center session, yeah, nice so place. Yeah, more of those if you've got them out there. Maybe not always Jane's Addictions, but any other bands, artists that have done a guitar center session in this style. Mm. All right, uh, there you go. Thanks for joining us today at Brit React. We'll be back tomorrow for another reaction. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and go over to Patreon. Uh, Jack Carr's one of our patrons, top man. He is indeed, um, nice man. Until then, goodbye from me over there. Goodbye from Skip Diddly Bip Bop Diddly Doo Da. That's the one. Cheers. You got it. <laughs>